Good morning, everybody. Orin J here with another War of the Visions video, and today I've got a lot to be thankful for. By the time you guys are watching this video on Friday morning, my spring break will have officially began. I get a week to hang out with Baby J and the family, play some video games, and think about what I want this channel to look like going into summer 2023. Last week, I started a new video series, like the Weekend Review, where I just kind of talk about whatever's on my mind. It was really well received, I'm going to keep running that, and today I want to introduce a new video series, the Future Friday series, where I'm not going to do any like real deep analysis, because I like to do my deep analysis on units that are coming out, or vision cards, or espers, or whatever, the day before they drop. When I do that, the meta is fresh in my mind, I feel like I have more to say, so I want to keep that where it is, but I do think it's useful for players to be able to see what's coming out in about four months. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me let me pull something up on the screen here for you. This is the newest vision card we just got, right? Pursuer. And you can see that it came out on the third month, eighth day. That's the global release date. If I click over to JP on Wood of Calc, you can see that it came out in JP on the 11th month, eighth day. That is about exactly a four month window. So we have these sneak peeks that we can get into JP. And I think it's useful to uh, take advantage of that you know, and so not deep analysis, but a preview. And there's another reason I started this today, because note my home screen unit, and note that she is getting her dream enhancement upgrade in four months. Put that on the calendar. We're going to get some Eileen content coming out in about four months, and I'm very excited about that. It's the perfect week to kick off this series. Now, any website that I use, like this one right here, where um, like it, I have it saved as Wotiv.info, um, I'm going to link this in the description. So if you want to go to these sites and check out this content, any website I use, I will link. You can click on those and check them out. The preview period that we're going to be looking at today, which is plus or minus four months, is book three, chapter two, part two. That's how far the story will have progressed by this point. Now, let's kick it over into here. Let's get to a better page. Uh, here it is. This is the thing we should start with, right? Now, I'm not going to get to talk about Eileen every week. In fact... Most weeks I don't get to talk about Eileen, but her original master ability was terrible. Her master ability too was decent, the initial AP and the defense pin was fine, but what did we talk about? We said she didn't get enough defense pin and she's still hyper slow. Yes, Eileen can do damage, my goodness, make her faster, and they said, okay, how about 20% more agility and 20 defense pin for her dream enhancement? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm not even worried about pierce attack penetration for Eileen. You don't see a ton of pierce resist out there anyway. She needed speed, she needed damage, she got both of those things. They're also upgrading a skill with her dream ability, uh, Impulse Thrust. So let's go check that out on her skill page. So Impulse Thrust will now uh, also gain a 125% modifier if it's hitting more than one unit. Now look, I don't know exactly how this works yet, but there's some videos out there from JP players where Eileen is slapping people. So, more detailed analysis on this, right? Like, I will talk about her and all of the rest of these Dream Enhancement slash Master Ability 2s coming out in four months in more detail right before they come out. But, TLDR, here's what the Dream Enhancement schedule looks like for us in four months. You're going to get Eileen Lilith, Sosha Severo, Liarte Kilfate, Knight of Ruin Cern Crazy, Resnick, Little Lila the Bold, and Sorel, with Terra's Ribbon catching its plus six. Briefly, let's look at Terra's Ribbon's plus six. Let's translate this page to English. Uh, for plus six on this ribbon, you're going to get a lot more spirit. Six more spirit on the spirit version. That's really nice. And then you're going to get Human Killer 15 with magic and Evocation Boost 30, really playing in to Terra in a lot here. So that's pretty cool. Look forward to that as well. We are also, I'll back this page up once here, we're also getting a Vision Card Esper and new piece of gear in four months. Again, no deep analysis coming here, but here's what the Vision Card looks like. Dark Demon Rock Mass Dark Golem, or whatever they call it in Global, which will probably just be Dark Golem. Now, this is cool because it's a Vision Card. It's a dual element Vision Card. A lot of people are still cold-ish on the job-specific Vision Cards, so at least with these 90 cost Dark uh, Espers slash Vision Cards, they're dual element. These are really cool. And we can look Look forward to global getting one of these elements either ice or earth and this feels very earthy to me 
um, getting a global buff. So I'm sure Earth units, when they equip this, will get an additional buff, which will be awesome. But this is an AoE resist defense acquired AP card. Like, this screams Earth to me, right? 15% HP, AoE resist and defense. Yes, that, that seems real earthy. Now, not going to be... Uh, it has defense and spirit here too. Sorry, I was talking, I was, my, my mind got ahead of myself. So defense spirit, it's a magic card, 154, with 58 attack and 423 HP. Maybe a Queen Mashiri, something like that. We'll see. Now it comes with an Esper, Dark Golem, and here's what that looks like. It has a new thing, something I've not seen before, called Human Resistance. So you can only get five of it. It goes Critical Evade into Human Resist. 5%. I'm guessing that's if you get attacked by a human, you just take 5% less damage. I've not seen human resistance penetration in the game. So this is a new thing, something we can look forward to coming out. Otherwise, it is a magic defense earth attack card with some HP nodes on there. Yes, it is also anti-wind with some wind killer and wind resist built in as well. Uh, missile resistance on there, evocation gauge, and machine killer for some PvE application. We'll see what Earth looks like for Global when this comes out. But this being an Earth Element Esper, again, makes me think we probably do get a Global buff for Earth on the Vision card. Then the Clown Close, this all is happening during the Final Fantasy rerun where Kefka is coming to the game, right? So we are getting Kefka uh, not four months from now, in about like three and a half months from now for Global. And he's getting his own piece of gear via, uh, I believe it's a box event, I think. It's a UR piece of gear has a defense or spirit version, 16 defense or 18 spirit, depending on what you do, then it is a monster piece of gear for the units Terra, Locke, Celis, and Kefka. So, yeah, the collaboration unit's getting a massive buff from this with 20 accuracy and 10 human killer. you love to see that. We're getting human... Uh, human defense on the Esper, human killer on the new piece of gear. Then for anybody who wears it, it's 20 crit evade and 10 magic resist. You think about, like, this is an accessory, right? No, this is close. So it's at least, it's armor. Okay. So I thought this was an accessory for a second. Anyway, it's closed. So this is a potential, like, 18 spirit 8 defense piece of gear with 10 magic resist and 20 critical of 8. That's pretty decent. And then you combine this buff uh, for the collab units and it is real good. So guys, that's it. Like that's the kind of thing I'm going to do every week. Now, if you would like me in next week's video to click a few more of these things, maybe take a little bit more of a look, maybe pick the couple of things I'm most excited about. Let me know in the comments section and I will do that. Otherwise, I just wanted to say here is what is coming. If you are excited about it, head to wodefcalc.com, switch over to the JP side, click through here, look at whatever you want to, and if you want to wait four months, uh, this looks like a big update that I'm going to have a really big preview video for in four months for Global. So, thank you all for watching. Oh my gosh, that looked ugly. There's kinks to work out with these new video series. It is what it is. Thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I will catch you next time. Peace.